Hey guys, it's Wednesday, October 27th, so there isn't really much to say today. Um, one thing, you know how I was talking yesterday about the tornado warning and everything at my school and I was talking about how hard the wind was blowing? Well, I found out today that the storm we had yesterday apparently had tropical storm level winds. That's how hard the wind was blowing. That's crazy. Um, the last year, no, my freshman year, I don't remember what hurricane it was, but we had a windstorm from this one hurricane that like shut down power lines. Most people didn't have power forever, and it's kind of weird because that was left over from a hurricane. But now this winds we had yesterday, they were incredibly hard, and I've seen like a couple of limbs down, but there wasn't really much damage here at all. But apparently in other places there were like huge power outages and everything. Also, we started watching the Schindler's List in U.S. History Day. It's rated R, so we had to get parent permission to watch it. We started watching that, and it's good so far. Now, so that's really all for today. So I have more footage from Lincoln Boyhood National Memorial to show you. So, bye guys. Okay, this stone was part of the foundation of the Barry Lincoln store at New Salem, Illinois. By the way, I know I'm filming all these stones and you guys, like, don't know what they are. We're walking the Trail of Twelve Stones, which has, like, twelve stones from different places in Abraham Lincoln's life. And that's what they are. And I haven't kept track on what number we're on, but here's another one. And there's a leaf, so I can't read it. Um, these bricks from the, Lexington, from the Lexington, Kentucky home of Mary Todd, who was married to Lincoln November 4th, 1842. So these actually came from Mary Todd Lincoln's house. This is cool. This stone was part of the White House at Washington, D.C., where President and Mrs. Lincoln lived from March 4, 1861 until his death, April 15, 1865. So this, is, this is from the White House. Not to film that my mom just said that. <laughs> You're looking at the rock from the White House, and she goes, it doesn't look white. <laughs> is it? Okay, we're just walking along the trail. And I'm bored, and I have to point out my family is talking about viruses. So I'm not joining in that conversation. And my sister went off to walk the nature trail, and we're on the Twelve Stones Trail. So my family stopped to do something. Yeah, this is already like seven minutes, so I think I'm going to end up like putting it on different days because I'm going to do it since I'm uploading videos every weekday. I don't want to like upload a video like this weekend just for this. So I'm probably going to put like clips from this on like different days of video which is kind of pointless to say that now because you already have seen them but we're coming up on another stone and I feel like a tour guide or something it's kind of cool I think it would be cool to be a tour guide I love history and talking about stuff so yeah okay this stone is from the Anderson Cottage National Soldiers Home Washington DC President where President Lincoln wrote the Emancipation Proclamation, September 22nd, 1862. Ooh, it's like bumpy. It's like crystals or something is what it looks like. That's cool. I think this rock is the biggest one yet. It's quite large. And it is this rock from where President Lincoln stood when he delivered the Gettysburg Address, November 19th, 1863. Big rock. I wonder how they got all these. Did they just go, we need a rock for a trail, and then like, I don't know. Whoa, crap. Look at all the pretty trees. The trees are pretty. The woods are awesome. I thought about it back.